it's a weird world. Here's the other weird thing I found. But, you know, after having an internal dialogue with myself, I didn't think it was a bad idea. The new Dead by Daylight remake, right? It's a remake, not a remaster. Has an option, right? Like under accessibility and all that stuff. And you can turn this off, right? You can turn this off. But when you're playing this game, it has an option to warn you in the upper corner when something grotesque might be happening. It'll give you a little warning in the uh, in the upper right-hand corner, you know? Uh you're you're approaching uh disturbing content. We're we're just we're preparing you. Disturbing content is on the way. You know? And then you turn a corner and somebody's bashing their own head up against a wall or something like that, you know, that kind of thing. Now, my first reaction was what are you kidding me? Okay. Whatever. Personally, I'll, I'll get to the good part of this, but as a person that can stomach a lot of blood, I found this to be ridiculous, okay? Because I'm like, it's like going into a horror movie and then having them a little warning show up on a screen saying, bro, a jump scare is coming up. Are you going to be okay with that? Are you going to be okay? Is this going to, like, trigger you or something? There's violence. It's going to happen any moment now. Why are you buying a horror game where you have to go in and get little warnings before every little jump scare or violent act? Okay? And it, there are multiple levels of this. So you can actually have it where it blurs out all the violent acts. And when the main character dies, it basically eliminates that cutscene. And I'm like... Huh? Who? Because my first thought is, yo, who, excuse me, why are you buying this game if you want a warning every time there's violence happening? It's literally called Dead Space. A, a, a cursory internet search is going to tell you it's it's got blood. It's got violence. All those things. Right? So, all that aside, I found it ridiculous. Now, where this does work, and it's actually kind of cool, is in this day and age, if you're a gamer parent, right? You want to play Dead Space, uh, but the kid, the kid's there, you know? Even if you have a little, little, you know, person cave off to yourself, right? You know, little fill in the blank is going to come in and be like, hey, hey. I want a cookie before bed. Oh. Kid glances up, sees you stepping on somebody till their face explodes. Okay. The kid's going to have nightmares. I get that. Um, so if you do have, you know, younger people in the house or whatever, that's, it's a good option. Fine. It's a good option, but I can't imagine anybody needing this who wants to buy this. Yeah. I saw a couple of streamers leave it on to make jokes like, look, oh, Isaac, you sure you want to move forward? Something's going to happen. You know, that kind of thing. I'm just like, Ugh. it's kind of weird. Is that good or bad? I mean, it's clearly got a rating on it for mature audiences, you know? I've I've never, because this is the first game I have encountered where they go out of their way to make sure you're not exposed to blood, bodily harm, depictions of self-harm, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, um, to such great lengths. They're literally, they're blurring it out. That's like going to a adult site and specifically looking for one that has the mosaics. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's counterintuitive, if that makes any sense. But, I mean, it is what it is. It doesn't detract from the game. It's I don't think it's on by default either. Um, and I guess for those who need that accessibility option, it's kind of like when Grounded had an option to make the spiders not look like spiders for people who have arachnophobia. What about people who are scared of bees? Ladybugs? Centipedes? What about children? What if you have a phobia about children? They're all in the game. I got to see them. They're everywhere. 
Turn them into little Minecraft blocks or something, please. I need a filter for that.